Everything Everywhere All at Once 2022 is one of the most overrated movies since Crash 2004. I've seen this opinion here before but this movie continues to get nominations and awards. I don't get it. It's different. It's weird. Very chaotic. None of the characters resonated with me. We get it OP, you have a good relationship with your parents. Would it be an unpopular opinion to say that Crash is actually a good movie? Wow didn't expect to get this many upvotes. Your take infuriates me. Have an upvot. I absolutely loved this movie and am happy about the hype of my upvote. It's different. It's weird. Very chaotic. I think that was kind of the point thinking face. I mean, if you don't relate to it you don't relate to it. But as someone that does, I think it captures what it wants to beautifully. This sub has been on fire lately with actual unpopular opinions for once. I guess overrated is a matter of taste. Everything everywhere wasn't all that bad, but it was different enough from what has been playing in theaters for the past few years that people latched onto it. As someone who would like to see more variety in movies that just your standard action and comic book movies, I'm glad it found an audience. Someone clearly forgot Lol Lol Land got made. If weird and chaotic are bad qualities for you then it's 100 understandable. You are wrong. This is a legit and popular opinion. Have an upvote my man. I don't know I think it's for the people that family struggles with money and the younger generation I loved it. Even if it is overrated I don't think it is I would rather a movie like this is overrated so that hopefully more people make weird and different movies. This post deserves to be here. One of the most unpopular I have seen so far this week. Crash is not even remotely as good. Up for given. I cannot recommend this movie enough to people, I sobbed so hard in the theater and have seen it at least three or four times now. I disagree, nice work. It was a real holds up spork movie. But at the same time it was sweet. I didn't like it as much as most people did but it was alright. I wouldn't watch it a second time. Finally someone that agrees with me the amount of people saying how incredible and original the film is completely baffles me. It's okay, nothing more. What are you talking about? It did a multiverse movie better than Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness did. I don't get it. I have a bad relationship with my mother I didn't find it relatable or touching or deep, etc. I thought the plot was too ridiculous silly to get emotionally involved. Considering all the good stuff I've heard said about it, you earned this upvote. I loved it. I liked it because of how redemptive it was. I ended up calling my mom after watching it just to see how she was. It's a really good film. The issue is that people can't just speak in those terms so when a film is hyped everyone calls it mind-blowing and amazing and no film can live up to that. It's a fucking film. I only watched half the movie because I just couldn't keep up with what was going on. It's because it is weird and unique that make it Oscar worthy. It's more comedic and coherent than Mulholland Drive, but think down that line of movie. Loved it. I haven't laughed so hard at a movie in years. The part with the jacked pinky finger killed me. Yeah Hobbs and Shaw should have won that one. I have to agree. I think it had an interesting premise and the frenetic zaniness was entertaining for the first third of the movie or so. But, the middle really dragged. The frantic pace never slowed, but the plot stopped moving for a while and we just got scene after scene of over-the-top hijinks. It became exhausting to watch. The very end was touching and I liked that it all resolved, but by that point I had such a headache. If it had been 30-40 minutes shorter, it would have been so much better. I agree. I thought it was trying way too hard to be kooky and weird. 
I just found it really annoying and obnoxious and I'm an immigrant who grew up with money troubles and a strained relationship with my parents so don't come at me with the relatable BS. To me it was just like being John Malkovich except in ADHD. I loved being John Malkovich. I did not enjoy EEAAO. It's not a marvel, that's all I needed to like it. Reminded me of films that could be made before the consolidation of the industry. Finally a very unpopular opinion. Black Panther and Avengers Endgame were way more overrated. I agree. It's good but damn people need to chill. How the fuck is Crash overrated? Everyone hates that movie and is widely considered the worst best picture winner ever. The end was so long. They kept doing that Rakakuni gag so much that it stopped being funny. While I did enjoy the movie and would recommend it, I have to agree that it is way overhyped and the ending dragged on just a bit. Remember the Im So Ran Zero M era back in the late 2000s? This was basically the film version of that. Your opinion is unpopular, yes, but I'm with you. There were some clever moments, and then there were hot dog fingers. Why? Because Ran Zero M. I saw it this weekend for the first time. I loved almost all of it, but what I didn't love was enough to leave me underwhelmed with the whole thing. The bagel. I hated the bagel. What if I told you, you can dislike something without it being bad? In fact, something can be amazingly good and you can still dislike it. What if I told you that your subjective opinion isn't shared by the rest of the population, and many things you think are bad are actually good? What if I told you that some things you find good are actually objectively bad? I know this might rock your worldview to your core, but there's a chance the universe doesn't revolve around you. I got bored about an hour in. Just too much going on, with no coherent story. Glad I'm not the only one. Almost fell asleep during the movie. My family all sat down to watch it one night, and we were all half asleep by around the one hour mark. Just found it really boring and nonsensical. It was the most original movie I have seen in a while. I agree with you. I love all sorts of movies in many genres as long as it has a good story writing acting. The multiverse stuff just felt so overwhelming for such a simple story. I also wasn't impressed with the acting or writing. I feel like the visuals made it splashy and everything else felt very surface level. I have so much trouble understanding the love behind this movie. None of the characters resonated with me. Then the movie wasn't made for you. Doesn't make it overrated simply because you weren't the target audience, who are primarily queer and Asian Westerners, people with tough parental relationships, and those experiencing existential dread. It was great I loved it lol. Alright paid advertisement, I get it, I'll go watch your fucking movie. I think one of the reasons for its hype is that it went up against the MCU multiverse movie and was much better. Glad I'm not the only one who thought it was boring, disjointed and pretentious. Yes I absolutely do not understand the hype. Neither do I understand what exactly the movie is about, except her trying to save her family. I agree. It dragged on way too long and got too preachy. Don't spoon feed us. I agree, didn't make it half what before switching off. I agree with you. I didn't like it. I thought it was silly and too long. GIF GIFI 8K3 New 79 GP 0 XE. Some movies just have too much character, depth, and passion for most common folks, I guess. Wow, an actual unpopular opinion. It was the first movie I've walked out of since Whiplash a decade ago where I said, that was a great movie I majored in film, and I have parents who were obsessed with films growing up and I watch study films constantly, and everyone I know loves this film. When Crash came out everyone I knew thought it was meh, including me. Maybe smoke a joint next time you give it a watch lol.